Welcome back to the War Crowd with Drew. Man, Chance. This week's club rotation is FBLA, Y Club, Spanish Honor Society, and Tri Music Honor Society. This past week, basketball had games. Varsity Girls beat Temple 44 21. Varsity Boys lost 39 52. This week, our reporter Kayla Partman caught up with Miss Engel on prom and Coach Shellnut on how this track season is going. Hi guys, I'm Kayla. So as you guys know, prom is coming up, so I have Miss Engel here with me to give us an idea of how it's going to go. So what is the theme this year? So the theme was voted on by the senior class, and the one that won was Masquerade. Um, and it's more like mysterious Masquerade instead of Mardi Gras. Uh, it's more like the Phantom of the Opera kind of thing with the dark colors, um, the golds and the blacks and stuff like that. It's going to be at the University of West Georgia on April 25th and that's a great place to have it because senior walk is outside on the steps and it's a big enough for everybody to have room to do whatever they need to do. Um, the one thing people need to be aware of is that the junior class needs to pay their dues which is at this point $100. So see me, Miss Engel, or Miss Holtz Claw to pay that because we're already buying stuff for the prom and if we don't have the money there then we just can't get it. So and if you pay it as a junior it covers prom for junior year and senior year. And if you're a senior and never paid your prom dues, you still owe that too. So invitations will be coming out soon. Um, we will provide some masks for you and some favors at the prom as well. So it's gonna be a good time for everybody. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, Miss Engel. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. I'm with Coach Shonut. So Coach Shonut, what are you looking forward to this upcoming season? I'm really excited about uh a lot of the, the younger kids is coming up. Uh, I, I watched them the last few years in middle school and really uh, anxious to, to be able to coach that group that's coming through. A lot of those young girls uh, that were really impressive at the middle school level, I'd really love to see, see them continue that success at, the, at our level, at the high school level. Um, as far as I'm I'm pumped about what our boys team is going to look like this year. Uh, it'll be a completely different look than, than what we've looked like in the past. Um, we'll be stronger in a lot of different areas, whereas last year, you know, we were, we were full of sprinters. Uh, this year, you know, we'll have a lot of young kids that are going to be like middle distance and, and heavy distance. And, and we'll still have some, a uh, few of the staples uh, sprinters that's, that's been there in the past, the Tay Grays, the Alex Boyds. Um, we'll have Bailey Scarborough coming back, Paul Balton. So it, it should be a, should be a fun year, uh, and we'll we'll definitely have a, a lot of work to do, and but hopefully it'll pay off uh, at the end of the season. Are you excited about this season? Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, we've it's been, you know, uh, it's been a not a struggle, but it, it has been been a task uh, to to get a lot of kids to actually enjoy. Uh, enjoy track at times and, and I think that we've got a crew that has has made the decision and they fell in love with the the winning aspect of it and seeing their the fruits of their labor you know bloom and blossom into um, into the success at the end of the year especially thank you you're welcome now we have the weather what's hot or not and baseball quotes Hello, Reed County. It's your local weatherman, Jacob Cash, with the weather for this week. Now, if you look behind me, you'll see that the weather for Monday is partly cloudy, with a high of 68 and a low of 52. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're going to be eating some showers. Tuesday, we'll be, we will have a high of 67 and a low of 58. Uh, Wednesday, we'll have a high of 65 and a low of 48. On Thursday, we'll have a high of 61 and a low of 39. And Friday, back with the partly cloudy weather, we will have a high of 56 and a low of 38. Burr. All right, that's all, Herd County. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you later. How's it going, guys? It's Colby. And Connor. And we're back here with another segment of Hot, Hot or, or not. not. To start off this week, we have Bad Boys for Life. And for some reason, it's still number one. Like I told y'all last week, I might go see it. I might rent it. I might watch it on Netflix if it comes out. I just don't understand why it's that good right now. To be honest, it don't even look that all right. It looks pretty good. Not all right. I don't know what I said. What about you, Connor? I think it's a really good movie. Yeah, nobody cares, Connor. I think Bad Boys for Life is a pretty good movie. I went and saw it myself, and I recommend it to anybody that wants to see it. Uh, nobody wants to hear from you, Drew. That's why you're going back down. All right, now we have Song of the Week, which is, as everybody knows, The Box. It's been number one for four weeks running now. It's kind of getting boring. Told you my spiel last week. It's been 
Seven Weeks in the Top 100. What about you, Connell? I think it's a good song. I like the box. <sighs> of course you do, Drew. Final hot of this week, we have NBA players changing their numbers from 8 or 24 to a different number to honor the late, great Kobe Bryant. It's a, such a nice thing they can do. They're being respectful to him. I just think it's an overall good thing what the NBA is doing for him. How about you, Tom? Really respectful. Great thing that they're doing for him and his family. All right. Thanks, Connell. That, that was really heartfelt, heartwarming. Now, before we start off the hots, we're going to honor the late, great Kobe Bryant and get to an eight-second moment of silence. All right. All right, thank you for doing that moment of silence, guys. Well, now to start off the not hots this week, we have the one million dollar signing, one million dollar bet, I should say, of the 49ers going to the Super Bowl. It's like, I don't understand, why would you put a million dollars on a team that's not even gonna win? Like, the Chiefs are gonna win. Like, honestly, have they not seen who Patty Mahomes is? Patty Mahomes is a GOAT. He is the GOAT right now. I don't understand. What about you, Kyle? They also have Jimmy G, which is a really good quarterback. I think he won't take it home. Jimmy G's trash. Go Patrick Mahomes. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. All right, guys. Now, for the final hot this week, we have Alfred Payton shoving Jay Crowder in a basketball game. This was probably the most tragic thing I've seen. All right. Let me give you a little scoop of it. 48 seconds to go. Jay Crowder goes to shoot a three. Mind you, they're up by 18, so it's kind of a Bush League move. But it's whatever. He shoots a three. All of a sudden, boom, by El Alfred Payton. It's so disrespectful. And then Marcus Morris has the has the audacity to come and defend his player. That just nearly hurt a player. And, like, punches John Moran in the face. It's ridiculous. I just can't believe he did that with 48 seconds left to go. I can't believe he just did that to me. I agree with both of them. Because for that last part, so. I can't believe he just did that to me. Roll the clip. And now a steal by Crowder. That. Whoa. And. The hard foul against Jay Crowder. And. Cr That's all we have for you this week, Hurt County. Now on a baseball coach with Drew and, Drew and Connell. Welcome back to Baseball Coach with Drew. And Connell. This week, quote of the week is, cheaters never win, except for in baseball. Just ask the Astros. They cheated, I would take it away from them. Hey guys, Her County High is starting a new thing where we want students to vote on who their favorite teacher of the month is. So make sure you fill out the Google form on your Chromebook and let us know what you think. Go Braves. Hey Her County, with the passing of the great Kobe Bryant this past Sunday, we'd like to take a step away from the studio and reflect on his legacy. Please join me in remembering Kobe Bryant with a 24 second moment of silence. Now here are some thoughts from our faculty on his passing. Hey guys, I'm here with Coach Laster. Coach Laster, what are your thoughts about the passing of Kobe Bryant? Um, whenever I first heard about it, I mean, of course, it's sadness and like disbelief that somebody that that's I, that iconic could actually pass away at such a young age. Um, but as I thought about it more, I, I mean, I was thinking about, you know, he was the ultimate competitor and that it, you know, anybody that's doing anything could, could learn from him. Uh, that even though he did have a, a great deal of talent to start with, uh, he worked on his craft tirelessly and um, made himself into one of the best of all time. You know, he was drafted where he, you know, right into the league as an 18 year old kid and then turned into such an icon, but it was mostly about his work ethic and you know, he was such a competitor. Um, and if you, you talk to anybody or hear anything on the news or anything like that, that's what they're going to talk about the most. It's his competitive spirit, and that's something that all of us could learn from, and uh, you know, he'll be sorely missed. Thank you. I'm here with Coach Brown. Coach Brown, what are your thoughts about the passing of Kobe Bryant? It was, it was tough yesterday. I mean, seeing it come out, um, 
just the magnitude that he brought to the sports world. I think he, in my lifetime, he was one of the first, um, you know, when, when he passed and it came out, it was one of those like shock and you just kind of sat there and didn't say a whole lot, you know. Um, what he brought to the NBA, but what he brought as a competitor and a person, like you could tell, I don't know if there was a bigger competitor to ever play in the NBA. You could tell um, he worked his tail off. He was the first one in the gym. He was always the last one to go. Um, and so not just an NBA player, and yeah, he was he was a megastar. I mean, he was, to me, top five all time NBA players. And that's, that's objective, but um, what he brought to sports in general, uh, you know, I, I, I played basketball a few years in high school here and there, but uh, the mentality he brought on the on you know on the court, you could take to any any playing surface you know that that you compete in, and um, I mean you could take that in life as well. You know, after he was done with basketball, he said, "I still want to be a part of the game, and I still want to um, I still want to give back," and, and that was the biggest thing. That again, he was bigger than basketball. Um, you know, on the floor, off the floor. He, he had something about him. Um, so yeah, it it definitely hit me yesterday like, holy cow, this is, you know, probably one of the first ones that, that have passed unexpectedly like that, that I was just like, wow, I saw this guy play. And, you know, again, I wasn't a huge basketball player or anything, but it, it kind of hit me hard because it was just, wow, you know. So yeah, that that's my thoughts on Kobe Bryant. Thank you, Coach Brown. I'm here with um, Coach Napier uh, on the death of Kobe Bryant. Um, Coach Napier, how did um, the death of Kobe Bryant impact your life? Um, growing up, I was not a Lakers fan. I was always a LeBron fan, so you wanted to like not pull for him. But the way that he played the game, he was so competitive. He wanted the ball. Like you could see how he impacted everybody's game. Um, it could be kids that don't even play sports. Every time they shoot at the trash can, they'll be the ones yelling Kobe. There's a reason for that. Um, hearing the news yesterday didn't seem real at first. Like I thought it was one of those fake trends, and then you see like it's all over all social media. ESPN reports it, and then later you figure out his daughter was with him. Um, it's hard to imagine what was going through his head once he knew that control was lost and there was nothing he could do to help his daughter. Um, and then you see on social media the outpouring of love between news stations, comedy shows, um, artists, everybody like universally shouting out to Kobe. Um, his family was sending out prayers. So you can see that his impact was bigger than basketball. Um, it was in, like, he, like I said, movies, it was in music, it was in high schools today. Like we're talking about it here in Franklin, Georgia, um, about as far away from Los Angeles, California as you can be. So um, just just, no, just notifying how big his impact was beyond the game and even since he's quit playing and just kind of keeping his family in mind during all this time because he still has three daughters and a wife that are being left behind. So just keeping prayers for them too. Thank you, Coach Napier. As I'm here with Coach Smith. Coach Smith, what are your thoughts about the passing of Kobe Bryant? Um, obviously it's sad. I think as fans, we were robbed of the opportunity to see the little things like Kobe physically get inducted into the Hall of Fame and hear his speech. Um, as coaches and athletes and competitors, we lose a role model. One of the best things about Kobe is his relentless determination and work ethic. And he's a guy that's going to compete every single possession on both ends of the floor. And guys that are still playing now can learn a lot from Kobe and just how he had that relentless intensity every single moment, whether it was practice, shoot around, games, and that's what made him one of the best players of all time.
Basketball has games this week. There's a region tournament Monday through Saturday, so make sure you get out and support your Braves. This will wrap up the basketball season. Good luck, Braves. That's all for this week, Brave Nation. Remember to tune to your daily morning announcements. Everyone have a great week. Go Braves.